Well, we got a few little isolated small showers and thunder showers here moving into our western counties right here west of Warren County. You can see the funnel reports with these. We actually had a brief land spout tornado touchdown reported in North Effingham, Illinois, a little earlier. And in this zone, there is a warm front about right here lifting northward. We've also got a little disturbance that's riding along the front, kind of a little small, compact, uh, compact meso low. And what it's doing is it's causing a wind shift and also enhancing the shear a little bit right in this zone. So as these little isolated showers come into Warren County over the next few hours, you can't completely rule out an isolated little funnel coming out of them. And in very rare instances, you'll get a brief little land spout tornado that'll briefly touch down and then go back up. But we'll keep an eye on that. It's moving eastward towards West Lebanon and along the Highway 28 corridor, also towards Attica. But the warm front lifts northward, bathing us in heat tomorrow and on Tuesday. But this strong cold front means business. This is going to usher in some more fall like weather later on in the week. And that trough of cold front will determine how quickly. Uh, catastrophic Dorian makes the turn to the northeast, and that will determine how much of an effect we have on Florida and whether we have a landfall in Florida or we have a landfall in South Carolina or even North Carolina for that matter. So, that said, a couple isolated showers, thunder showers this evening, mainly in the south, then some patchy fog by 11 uh, p.m., that is, 66 by 11, and then overnight, areas of dense fog developing, 64 early tomorrow morning, and you can see that with our fog cast. This is 3 o'clock in the morning. This is 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Notice multiple locations experiencing visibility of less than a half a mile, and then it burns off, but we may see some additional patchy dense fog tomorrow night. It won't be as widespread as tonight. It'll be more patchy, but still some fog around as the kids head off to school early on Tuesday morning. So tomorrow, areas of fog giving away to sunshine and a few clouds. Not much wind. A little stifling. Pretty humid. 85 the high. It's going to feel like about 89 or 90 with highs 84 to about 87. Now on Tuesday, patchy fog in the morning, then sunshine and a few clouds. 89 for the high temperature. It'll feel like 94, but at least we'll have a wind gusting to 30 miles an hour with highs generally about 85 to about 90 degrees. With a marginal risk of severe weather, the north half of the viewing area, but I wouldn't be a bit surprised if this is expanded or perhaps increased to a slight risk. Let's talk more about that again tonight. Uh, watch for the fog, and then tomorrow, decent Labor Day, summer-like, and then late Tuesday, we're going to watch perhaps a line of storms form to our north that could impact us during the evening, and that trough and cold front will take this hurricane, and somewhere in this zone, we'll kind of ride it along the coast and then race it into the northeast, and then we cool off pretty nicely. Check that out. Wednesday, 76, after some storms, Tuesday evening, Tuesday night, 49 Thursday morning, and then Saturday and Sunday, a couple isolated showers, highs near 71, and lows in the 40s, which is quite a bit below normal. It should be up around 80 to about 82. Wow. Well, that looks beautiful in all the it next does. week. No, not a rain cloud on there. Yeah. So great. Well, thanks so yeah. much, Chad. Well, we have lots from baseball, volleyball, all kinds of stuff coming up in sports. That's right. The